Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is continuation to the Pi, uh, sorry, GitHub playlist. So in this video, we will be discussing about how we can connect the local repository with the remote repository. So in our previous video, we know that how to create a local repository by installing Git there. And we have also created remote repository in the GitHub website. So now how to establish the connectivity between them so that whenever we do some development in our local, that means in our laptop, we can sync them or push them into the remote repository. So let's do that. Okay, so let me go to the browser and let me explain you this. See, I have one, uh, see if you see here, right? In my account, Mahir Basha, I have created a repository called my repo. And you see this repository is a public as of now, okay? And uh, in this repository, we have one file readme.md. So that file contains a header called my repo. So this is what we have on my remote repository right now. And in our previous video, we know that how to create the local repository. So let me quickly create one local repository now. So right click here in the C drive, open terminal. So because I wanted to create here. So once the terminals get open here, so let me try to run git, git init, right? So that is a command, git init. And I want to folder, I want a folder called my project, okay? So let me hit enter. So this initialized an empty git repository under this path. So if I go to the C drive and let me refresh this here, I should see my project folder, you see here? And inside that my project, as I told in our previous video, we get dot git folder also that tells us that it's a local git repository. So now what I wanted to do, I have a local repository here and now I wanted to connect this local repository with a GitHub repository here in my GitHub account and my repository name is my repo. How to do that? So to do that, navigate inside the local repository, right click open in terminal because I want to open my local repository path in my terminal and you can see that here. So I opened there. So now how to see why I want to create this connectivity because I wanted to be in sync with my remote repository. Whatever it is there on my remote repository, all the files, all the development related files should come in my local repository and I should uh, start developing that, right? So that is my whole intention, right? So what I will be doing it here is in my repository, uh, let me add one file here. So for our understanding, so I'm adding one file here and uh, I'm going to name this file maybe like a sample.py, a Python file actually. So it simply it will have a small line called print hello world. So that is the code I am going to write it here. So if you see here what I did, I'm creating a sample.python file, okay? And I added a small Python code there. So imagine, uh, let me commit these changes. I want to save these changes onto my uh, remote repository because I am directly working on a remote repository using a GitHub website. So added sample.py file. That is a comment I'm giving for this commit and committing. Commit means nothing but like a saving. So now my repository has two files, readme.md file, sample.py file, and it is under the main branch inside my repo repository. This is the remote repository. Now, if I see my local repository, I don't have anything. So firstly, I have to connect this local repository with my repository, which is on the GitHub. Then I have to pull all those files into my local, and then I have to start doing the development. That's how the things will work. So how to establish the connectivity? To establish the connectivity, go to your repository here, okay? and click this code icon here and copy this HTTPS URL. So I'm copying that going to my command prompt. So I'm inside my local repository. So here I'm going to add use like a git remote hyphen V. This command help you to list down if there are any local repository connectivity with the GitHub. So when I run this, nothing it printed. That means there is no connectivity. So now let me add this git remote add origin. What is origin means remote repository and URL of the remote repository. So now when I hit the enter, it would have connected my local repository with remote repository. To prove that I can execute this git remote space hyphen V command. So when I run that, 
you can clearly see that so this repository is connected as an origin here okay so we are good so far so the moment you connect it right now this local repository has the connectivity with this remote repository but i wanted to fetch all these changes and keep it in my local repository and then i have to start working so to do that right there is something called pull command so what you can do it here is git pull origin from origin that means from um, from the remote repository main so when you main is a branch name okay so when i do that see it fetches all the changes and if you see here now i got the sample.python file readme.md file as well from our remote repository into the local so now we are good so from here i can start doing my development and i can do that uh, and uh, so let me practically show you that but before doing any edits right what you have to do it here is once you pull the files are the changes from the remote repository to local repository so you have to check out that so check out main so what this means is when i do this git check out main uh, it you are telling to your local git that now you are going to work on the main branch so be in touch with the main branch from the remote repository and try to track the changes so that is what we are telling that okay so once i say that so what i will be doing it here is uh, maybe I will uh, add a new file here, maybe one more file into the project. So I will add it as a text file. Uh, maybe this time it is a demo.python file. So let me add demo.python file. Okay. And then in the demo.python file, I will add a sample code, a simple line of the code. So I will say maybe print this is demo file. Okay. So let me save these changes, close this editor. So now I added this demo.python file, right? So now if I see here, right, git status, there is something called git status command. When you run that, it will clearly highlight that, okay, what are the changes you did? Okay, so this way we will work actually. Uh, so what we did, we connected our local repository with the remote repository and how we connected that by using this command you can see it here right so remote add origin then take the url of the repository and paste it there then we can monitor like is your local repository is connected with something or not you can do that git remote hyphen v uh, and then what you can do is you have to you can pull the changes or you can pull the files from the remote repository to the local and once you pull that before you start development or changes check out the branch which you are intentionally going to change now or your intention is to edit some files or add some files into any branch right so first check out that branch in our case it's a main branch so we did that checkout so when you do the checkout uh, your local git will understand that okay this local edits whatever you are going to do uh, it has to be in track with the main branch from the remote repository so it will have that sense and try to keep track the things and then finally i can use the get status to see whatever i did the changes so it will give if i add any file added if i did anything updates anything right everything it will give the track of the changes so once this is done actually you have to oh, something called you have to take them into the stage and then you have to commit to save in the local local git and then from there you have to uh, push them into the uh, remote repository so all the things we have to do next uh, we will discuss all that in our upcoming video so thank you for watching this video if you like this video, considering subscribing to the channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.